so today we are going to be making a BTS Eda bag here, which I have quite a few things. I have all seven of the pop mini keychains that they've released. These are for the dynamite look. I also have other various keychains like this one for the Busan concert, McDonald's collaboration, the Daikon magazine exclusive, just a cute little tiny tan, map of the soul, other McDonald's and so on. Mostly been keychains right so far, but I do have some pins for a few things like the Busan concert in the soup and um, some song ones for like the way they love, other collab celebratory ones like Break the Silence and some Gashapon buttons. Japan's a very fond of the dynamite outfits for Gashapon, so I do have a lot of dynamite outfits because I got the buttons as well as the character keychains. And these character keychains have like little bobble heads. <laughs> and then lastly, the last item is just an accessory for the outside of the bag. It is a little chini sleeping pouch plush which also comes with a reusable shopping bag with the sleeping image. looking at a layout similar to this uh, the keychains here are not pinned down yet because I forgot to buy more 50 pins <laughs> so there will be a pause in this and a switch in scenery because I will be purchasing safety pins and then we'll probably be filming this at a later point so here's what it looks like and then with the lid on roughly what it would look like and my plan for the chimney keychain is just to hook it on the outside there i don't really know where you could buy these things to be honest because i totally have gotten the top top too but i just got it out of a japanese monthly subscription box that showed up recently so something japan they sell if you're looking for it the rest of this stuff mostly came from the uh, weaver shop um, and then there's a few pieces here that are uh, from Japan like these badges here and then this set of keychains here are all from the Japanese capsule machines which I bought a full set for and then this Tata keychain I believe was licensed for the Japanese market or if not, it was intended for the Korean. I forget which one of the two, but it is another one of the imported goods. I just want to add in real quick that a couple of my acrylic keychains look damaged, but they're not. It's because I left the protective film on them that they look damaged and scratched up. So I will keep leaving the protective film on them because charms that go in Eda bags, or at least mine, 
I tend to use my bags a lot so they get a lot of extra usage and just friction over time from using the bag. So yeah, here's that and here's the finished look.